Hi everybody, Captain Al here with your training tips designed to help make you a better, more knowledgeable flight simmer, pilot, or aviation enthusiast. Take a seat, let's strap in, let's stow the HUD, and see what is on the horizon for today. Today we are going to look at the top 10 differences between the Boeing 747-8 and the Boeing 747-400 jet aircraft. This video will look at the top 10 exterior features and compare them between the 747-400 to the latest model of the iconic Boeing jet, the 747-8. For more detailed information, subscribe to my YouTube channel at www.subsonicflighttraining.com. There you can find training tips briefings for the Boeing 747-400. Let's start with the top 10 exterior feature differences between the Dash 8 and the Dash 400 of the Boeing 747 series aircraft. Number 1. A longer fuselage. The Boeing 747-8 is 250 feet 2 inches long or 76.3 meters. That makes it 18 feet 4 inches or 5.6 meters longer than the Boeing 747-400. The 747-400 comes in at 231 feet 10 inches or 70.7 meters. There are two versions of the Boeing 747-8. They are the Intercontinental 747-8i and the Freighter 747-8F. Number two. Wider from wing to wing. The 747-8 has a greater wingspan than the 747-400. It is a whopping 224 feet 5 inches or 68.4 meters from wingtip to wingtip, making it 11.5 feet or 3.5 meters wider than the 747-400 which comes in at 213 feet 0 inches or 64.9 meters. The wing of the Dash 8 is thicker and deeper compared to the 747-400 and has been aerodynamically recalculated to improve efficiency in lift and drag. Number 3. Newly designed wingtips. The 747-8 has a raked wingtip similar to the Boeing 787. The raked wingtip replaces the 747-400 winglets. The raked wingtip reduces wingtip vortices at the lateral edges of the wings, decreases wake turbulence and drag, thereby increasing its fuel efficiency. The Dash 8 is 14% more fuel efficient than the 400 due to the redesigned airfoil and the raked wingtip. Number 4. Increased takeoff weight. 747-8 has a massive maximum takeoff weight of 987,000 pounds or 448,636 kilograms for the freighter and 973,000 pounds or 442,252 kilograms for the passenger intercontinental. Yes, that is almost 1 million pounds that flies. This compares with the not so puny weight of 875,000 pounds or 397,800 kilograms for the 747-400 freighter and 870,000 pounds or 395,000 kilograms for the 747-400 passenger version. Number 5. New Engines The 747-8 has four General Electric GENX-2B67 engines each rated at 66,500 pounds of thrust, whereas the 747-400 had a choice of Pratt & Whitney, General Electric, or Rolls-Royce engines at thrust ranging from 56,750 pounds for the Pratt & Whitney to 57,160 pounds for the General Electric 
to 60,600 pounds of thrust for the Rolls-Royce engines. Number six, carries more passengers and freight. The 747-8 can carry 467 passengers in three classes compared to around 400 passengers for the 747-400 depending on passenger configuration. Four extra pallet spaces are created on the main deck of the 747-8 freighter with two extra containers and two extra pallets on the lower load cargo compartments on the Dash 8. The 747-8 freighter achieves a 16% lower ton mile operating cost than the 747-400 freighter and has a slightly greater range. Number 7 carries more fuel for more range. The Dash 8 carries more fuel for a greater range than the 747-400. The 747-8 can carry up to 400,000 pounds of fuel or 182,000 kilograms on the 747-8 freighter and up to 420,000 pounds or 191,000 kilograms on the 747-8 Intercontinental. This translates to a range of over 9,200 statute miles or 8,000 nautical miles for the 747-8 compared with 8,350 statute mile range or 7,260 nautical mile range for the 747-400. The fuel system on the 747-8 also comes standard with a nitrogen generation system for the center tank which converts bleed air to nitrogen enriched air to reduce flammability to the center wing tank. Like the 747 400, the 747-8 Intercontinental has a stabilizer fuel tank which increases range whereas the freighter version does not. Number 8. More environmentally friendly. The 747-8, because of its redesigned engines, has a 30% smaller noise footprint than the 400, and it reduces carbon emissions by 16%. Number 9. Use of composite materials and advanced alloys to save weight. Advanced alloys and some composite materials are used on the 747-8 to save weight and improve efficiency. Using advanced alloys is considered to be more evolutionary than revolutionary on the Dash 8 when compared to a jet like the 787 which uses mostly composites and is sometimes referred to as the plastic jet. Number 10. How high, how fast. The maximum speed of both the 747-400 and the 747-8 is right around 0 .90 Mach. Typical cruise speed on both airplanes is right around 0 .85 Mach on the 747-400 and slightly faster on the 747-8 at about 0 .855 Mach. That translates to, at flight level 390, or 39,000 feet, a speed of 485 knots, or 560 miles per hour. The maximum altitude on the 747-400 is 45,100 feet. The maximum altitude on the 747-8 is 43,100 feet. Bonus number 11. Cost to buy. While the 747-8 will run you almost hundred million more to buy than the 747-400, it has lower operating cost per mile than the cheaper costing Boeing 747-400. Interested in buying one for your next travel plans? The 747-400 will set you back about 260 million dollars compared with the Boeing 747-8 price tag of $358 million. 
Too expensive, Mr. Boeing, you say? But you still want to fly one? Great! You can pick up a full motion simulator with visual for a cheap $35 million. Still too expensive? You can rent simulator time for a cool $800 per hour. Are you okay with $3,200 for a four hour period in a simulator? No? Okay, what about $25 to purchase FSX Steam Edition plus $59.95 for iFly 747-400 for your desktop computer that will have you accurately flying a 747 before you know it. Well, fly on over to www.subsonicflighttraining.com and click the plus sign on the right side of the page and check out both FSX Steam Edition and iFly 747-400. For more detailed information on flying the 747, check out my training tips. These tutorial briefings all free are all about learning and flying the 747-400. As soon as PMDG comes out with a 747-8 model simulation, there will be more briefings on that aircraft. So make sure to subscribe today. So let's lower the HUD and go flying. Until next time, keep the blue side up. Captain Al, out.